Good afternoon and welcome to Victoria Stadium. It's match day one in the championship group in the Gibraltar Football League. I'm Steve Brown bringing a live match commentary of this afternoon's game. Let's take a look at the teams. Starting with uh, FC Bruno's Magpies, in goal number one is Soler, five Gill, six is Gonzalez, seven is Lopez, eight is Jamie Coombs, 11 is Cassiaro, 19 Bent, 21 Galan, 23 is Martinez, 33 Parker, and 39 is Sastre. Looking at Lincoln Redimps for this afternoon, in goal, 23 is calling, 2 Toscano, 5 is Wiseman, 6 Lopez, 10 Walker, 11 is Wampe, 19 is Wanfre, 20 is Yaya, 21 Nano, 22 Taria, and 66 is Breto. <laughs> Referee for this afternoon's game, Dennis Perez, and his two assistants of Ruben Navarro and Karen as a party. The fourth official for this afternoon is Jason Basalo. Big game for these two sides. Level points at the top of the Gibraltar Football League. They did meet in the game just prior to uh, the break for, uh, for the Christmas period. It was a 3-1 victory for Bruno's Magpies. But I'm sure Lincoln Riddimps will have something to say about that this afternoon. A very tough game. Just looking at the benches as well there. FC Bruno's Magpies. We've got Roos, Diaz, Ocran, Jack Storer, the new signing. A lot of football uh, experience there with Jack Storer, former Birmingham City professional. He'd been uh, drafted in during the Christmas break. Peacock, Jones and Bayadet. And as for Lincoln Red Imps, it's Garcia, Ronan, Lee Cassiaro, Valerino, Roy Cipollina, Rosa Blanco and Sargent. Will be Magpies to get this game underway. Kicking from left to right in the first 45 minutes. Bit of a swirling breeze and a bit of rain as well on the rock this morning. Weather conditions, perfect for football. <laughs> Expecting a cracking game of football between these two sides. Trying to get the position. Good block there from Taria, as always, industrious through the centre of the park, one over the top. Charged down, a little bit of confusion, but up to Soler. Brought in from Lincoln Reddings, making the move to Bruno's Magpies. Been trying to keep that ball in play, but Ball just running away from him on that occasion. Lopez with the armband. Roy Cipollina on the bench this afternoon. Nano was always operating down the left-hand side. A lot of pace. As the Lincoln 21, he wants the ball now. Played into his feet. Nice block there, good challenge. To Jamie Coombs, stepping across, yep. Free kick, foul right in front of the assistant on this near side. And a chance for the Magpies to get some bodies into that box. Expecting the likes of Martinez to be Creeping in at that back post. Done it a few times this season. Cassiaro to take this. Puts a lot of spin on the ball. 
Could be a testing one here for Dale Colling. The footed. It's not a bad ball. I want easy. And it's early uh, take it there for De Bruyne's number one. to the far side, oh, 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 just running away. Don't expect to see that, that's uncharacteristic from, from Wampe. I won. Terrier with the header. Galan ran away from him, oh, he lost control of that ball. Yeah, just a ticking off. Ball just running away from Galan there, no intent. Only injuring the player. We'll have to be careful now. I'm sure the surface will be slightly greasy with the weather conditions this morning on the on the rock I'll be trying to get it on his left to hook the ball into the box he's got possession back on this near side good movement from Bresso winning the winning the throw in from Rooney trying to orchestrate things from his technical area shouting like I'm on it's need to get tight I don't know where the ball can he sit it up towards the back post it's not a bad delivery a little away Wampy with it looking for the overlap of, of Wiseman first time ball into the box driving it across In the early corner for Lincoln Reddits, but good movement down that far right hand side. And the usual scene is to see Scott Wiseman driving forward into those wide areas. He likes to get forward in support, as he did on that occasion. Walker. Slight breeze. I'll be looking to. Put this underneath the, the crossbar in towards the near post. In. Well, that ball could have gone absolutely anywhere. Kept in play. Good football here from Lincoln. Well, I thought that was just good strength. Stepping across. Sastry there, not leaning through. But awarding the free kick. Lincoln defence just standing the ground. And a free kick. Ordered by uh, Dennis Perez. Martinez at the in defence after that's so well good ball over the top well cleaned up by Lopez and Maria trying to clear the ball but blocked down by Bent as I was saying before for us FC Bruno, Mike Pines and there from Rooney's been uh, busy during Christmas, uh, during the Christmas break, with the signing of uh, Jack Storer. Comes with a lot of pedigree. Play for Birmingham City and Partick Thistle. We'll probably see him at some point this afternoon, but 
Lincoln coming forward, first time shot into the corner, and that's a beautiful finish. That is caught from Liam Walker. Good build up down the left hand side, played inside to Walker. And he's taken the shot first time and it's nestled beyond Soler into the bottom corner. But look at that from precision from Walker. And it's 1-0. A clinical finish there from Lincoln's number 10. It was good movement down this near side. It was played in, it was a square ball. And no hesitation from Liam Walker. He took it first time. It's come off the post. It couldn't get any closer to that corner. As the former Lincoln Relief's keeper tried to uh, get himself across there. But it was tight in the corner and it's coming off the post to give Lincoln Red Imps a 1 0 lead. Eight minutes on the clock. Well, that was a fantastic finish. Everybody knows the quality of that. Liam Walker possesses, got a wand of a, a left foot, and he showed it on that occasion. He's on the ball again. Into the free kick. Pulled by Lincoln Martinez. Having to go back to his goalkeeper, put under pressure. Brett over, getting forward. Take it in turns to uh, Nano and Bretto to push forward in support. That's a good ball down the left hand side from Walker. He's done well there. Bretto just slipping. Well. Must admit that I've not seen anything happen there. It was a. Uh, Bretto was looking to check back and slipped on the greasy surface and then. Feels that he's taken one to the face off the, off the boot of Martinez. But a good start to this game. Rooney just taking a glance at his watch. Ten minutes on the clock. If you just join us this afternoon, Bruno's Magpies nil, Lincoln Redimps one. A wonderful strike from Liam Walker. In off the goalkeeper's left hand post. Taking the shot first time. Clinical finish. Terence Jolly having a few. Word with Gallant. An instruction back onto the pitch. Middle of the park will be important for this game. As Lopez comes forward. Won't be checking back. Happy to keep possession. Back in play. Reto coming forward. Trying to get the ball well. Looking for movement in the box, but he's got himself a corner. Joy early on and down this near side. I know when Bretto getting forward and and almost a second. The ball has spilt out of out of uh, Salah's hands and almost gifting his former club a second goal.
Walker again. Puts a lot of zip and power into these corners, does Walker. Well, this time he's set it up towards the back post. It's a good error. Save fans this time. Well, he's gone for the quick one and there's nobody there. Giving away possession far too easily at the moment to this uh, Magpies team. One reason for the keeper to release the ball so early, especially with only one player upfield, and that was Sastre. Now no, playing a deeper position on this near side. Lopez. Weissman's continued that run. Yeah, yeah. Steady player through the middle. Real athlete. Covers a lot of the pitch. Lincoln's number 20. Nicely cushioned in it. That goal from Walker does seem to have unsettled the Magpies a little bit, but players like Jamie Keams can cause problems. Looks like it's going to be a corner. Good play. Good build up. for Magpies to apply a little bit of pressure on Dale Collins' goal. All flighted in. Clearance by Wiseman. Galan, first time short to hell. That almost ended up in Glasses Estate. But not a bad ball in. You do feel it's going to need a bit of artistry and magic from the likes of Galan and Jamie Coombs. Going long, straight down the middle. Galan with the header. Not one back there. Strong defending, Lopez intercepted again by Galan, but well, they've got the ball. I'm not sure if the referee could have let the game flow there and continued the play as Lincoln had it. So, yeah, showing a little bit of that, but releasing it. to the far side. Some excellent football being played in match day one of the championship group so far. With that 2-1 for Europa FC. That was on a on a Friday evening. That was against uh, against Lynx. And a win yesterday for uh, St. Joseph's against Glasses United. at the moment from Magpies hoping to force Lincoln into a, making some kind of error with Pomposia good running from Das Nano just opening up the space Liam Walker Nano wants the ball on this near side not the best of passes just drifting away from his man that will be a free kick Nano just timing the run. Getting alongside Walker and 
wasn't enough in the pass. But a good start to this game. Galan through the middle, closed down. Nice well by Lopez into Jamie Coombs, trying to get the ball out of his feet. He's done really well. Trying to create the space. The referee waving play on. And one pet going for the shot while it's taking a deflection. Well, I thought that had taken the deflection. So it won't be as well. Did see that the stunt, the sting of that shot had been taken out by the Pies defence. Martinez. Lopez trying to get the space, but Lincoln pressing, pushing the Magpies back at the moment. Well, that's a gift. They've given the ball away. Gonna have a chance. Well, he's gone for the corner. So there's managed to save that. One for it. Trying to pick out the keeper's left hand side. And Pice. Almost gifting a second goal. Which is something they do not want to do. Just haven't been able to. Get into the stride at the moment. That's a good ball down this near side. Resso needs support. Tucking the ball back. He was looking for the one the run of of Wampa there and then tracking back really well. Gave the ball away. But got himself back into a position where he's able to make the tackle. Good skill. Oh, he's pulled it back. Referee, they were trying to play the advantage. Good decision from Dennis Perez. Coombs, very tight. Not able to get away from the men. Tasman is wanting the ball played into his feet. Lopez, not a bad ball, but... Clean take there from Colling. Back with the club full-time now. Has been all this season. Making the move back from Glen Torren, where he was playing in the... Northern Ireland League. Did really well during his spell with Glen Torren. Back on the rock. Bent. Well played, good turn. Need to release the ball. Looking for Coombs. Coombs, that's a good take by Coombs. Can he finish it? Well, he's wanted too much time and he's gone for the shot. And he's put the ball wide. That was a good move there from Jamie Coombs. Got the ball out of his feet. Oh, he's lucky to pick out Dale Colling's top left-hand corner. There was an opportunity there for Coombs to strike the ball with his left foot. Waited to get it on his favoured right. And then the chance had gone. But good movement from Magpies. He feels that he should have made it 1-1. Did everything right, it was good movement, played into his feet. Oh, just seemed to get stuck underneath him. He couldn't dig the ball out in order to find that corner. But good play. Giving the ball away. All inside for... Liam Walker, but he 
gets dispossessed as they find the space into Jamie Coombs. Will he run at his man? Trying to get away from Nano. Strikes the ball into the box. Better pressure at the moment from Magpies asking all the questions. Need to keep that momentum flowing. Seems to be the only way of breaking this Lincoln team down. Zipping the ball at pace. I've come more into this game. Last five minutes or so of uh, Magpies getting the ball forward into, uh, especially into the wide areas on this on this near side. Not sure what's going on. And the technical areas. I don't think we're going to uh, see a substitution just yet. Nano with the throw-in. Walker prodded back to Nano inside. That's a nice little flick. Keeper's going to have to come for that. And does. It's a different shape, or it seems to be a different shape being adopted by Lincoln Renips this afternoon. It's Bretto is uh, playing further forward. Nano in a deeper position, making those runs from deep. Twenty-five minutes on the clock. FC Bruno's Magpies nil, Lincoln Redimps won. A wonderful strike from Liam Walker that separates the two sides. If you just join us this afternoon. Which in the back on Wampi there and winning the free kick. Was a slight push in the back. has been going forward so it will be a ball into the box Lopez as well making that move towards the edge of the penalty area and there's an option if they want to play it short and create the confusion I one that's an I one for the keeper to take he's it Coombs. Closing down Parker. Plenty of options on the benches as well this afternoon. Is strength in depth for both of these sides. Ockrun, Stora, Peacock, Jones, Bayre, Diaz. All options for Nathan Rooney. Same can be said for Lincoln with Garcia, Ronan, Lee Cassiaro, Valerino, Roy Cipollina, Rosa Blanco and Jack Sargent. Nice little touch inside. It's a poor looking to play into the path of Bonetto. Ball runs away from Sastre, but we'll get the throw in. Lopez will take this. Needing more movement. Doing a lot of work is, Jay, is uh, Jamie Coombs. Just can't seem to get away from his man at the moment. Parker playing it inside and Losing out to Walker, he's looking up, he's looking for options further forward. 
continued his run down this near side. Ball takes a deflection, looked like an handball. The referee spotted that as well. Terence Jolly again. An instruction out to the players, he's not happy about something, the ball retention. On Magpies at the moment, isn't where they will want it. Do play quality football, both of these sides when they do get it down. Walker with a free kick, it's not a bad delivery, well it's come right well. The goalkeeper came for that and decided to uh, stay at home. Totally got the fly to that ball. Wrong there, was, Sondler was coming out, but decided to stay. That could have been embarrassing. Lopez. Martinez under pressure. It'd have to be a first time clearance. Galan. All cleaned up by the Magpies. Good pressure. Shirts to continue the run. That's a good tackle, and still got the ball, and they're coming forward. A little bit of nervousness already creeping into this game. Both sides know how important this game is this afternoon. As it stands, that win for Europa on Friday evening takes them to 28 points. A good challenge. Walker. Wampe. Will he take his man on? Being on his left hand side and loses out. Cassiado giving the ball away so cheaply there. And through with the ball. Looking for support. Happy to go back and. Lincoln just keeping keep possession. Patient build up. Wants the ball, but continued the run. The Nano. And Magpies come forward with Bent. Driving forward. He's looking for options. He's... Sastry was the nearest man, and he was 15, 20 metres away. Wanting the ball played into his feet, but he's running away from Bent. Carries through. Coming deeper. Yeah, yeah, taking over, thinking about the shot. One beyond the far side, he always likes to check back on his favoured left boot. Walker keeps it in, needs support coming from behind. I don't know what kind of delivery. That's a good ball into the box and a good fist away from Salah there. Excellent ball into the box from, from the near side. He was testing for the keeper. And a good solid clearance in the end. At the moment, Magpies need to 
keep possession a lot better than they are doing. They're winning the ball, working hard to get the ball back. But then giving it away cheaply. Back to Lincoln. Again, looking for that long diagonal over to the far side. Tied it up with Walker. We're seeing a lot more of the ball is Liam Walker. Idea was right, he was looking for that. Starting run from Greta Hood. Made the diagonal off this near, near touch line. Wants the ball back again. Walker. Clear by Magpies, but retrieved by Lincoln. Pulling the pressure on. Manfred there was trying to cheek a little flick. Wampy not reading it. Now coming to the centre. Under pressure, need to release that ball. Oh, that's a sloppy one, giving the ball away. Zafra, we're going for the finish. Well, I thought that had gone in. I thought that had crept into the bottom corner. And that's a real let off for Magpies. Wanfret. Oh, I just ran away from the goalkeeper's left hand corner. But that all came about from Bruno's Magpies giving away possession too cheaply and almost paying the price. There's a lot of shouting going on from near from Rooney and Terence Jolly. Parker with a flick who Okay, possession back. Magpies just need to settle things down. But it is still only 1 0. That goal from Liam Walker. out hitting the ball first time and going in off the goalkeepers left hand post that was a late lunge that was a late lunge all ran away from the IR there and Trying to get the ball back. It left a mark on Ungalan. Experienced player. He's Galan. Played his football and played his trade all over the world throughout his career. Put it back into the middle. Liam Walker over shoulder, not really knowing where it's going to go. Two sides with the utmost respect for one another. Good take. Shield her back. Bent. Martinez looking to unlock the door. Jamie Coombs looking up, but there's no options further forward for him to play the ball into. Do you feel that? We'll probably see the appearance of uh, Jack Storer in the second half. Bad ball over the top, need to 
pick up those second balls. And they've won the free kick. And a chance this time for Magpies to get some bodies into the box. Martinez going forward. Gonzalez as well. Need to make this a good delivery. Galan. Possibly the favourite to whip the ball into the box. Or it could. Cassiaro. Well, it is. It's a low one. Good out there for Lopez, but Magpies still have it. to the far side again intercepted and the ball back pulled back but that's a good ball Jamie Coombs has come across into the middle now gone long over the top and the bounce of the ball and referee waving play on Well, keeping the ball in play. Don't want to get caught in possession. It's happened a few times already. Get the ball from the back, but Lincoln adopting that high press and creating problems for Magpies at the back. We need to move it a little bit quicker. Lopez missing that. Needs to tidy things up now. Pulling the ball out for a throw in. That's better pressure. From the Magpies down the down their left hand side. Five minutes remaining in this first half. Goal from Liam Walker that separates the two sides at the moment. Magpies yet to get going in this game. coming up as well later this afternoon early evening that's in the challenging group that's uh, Manchester 1962 versus Mons Calpe is the evening fixture that pass was not, not convincing from from Parker and Lincoln come forward to Ria into the run of Breto across the face of goal. Well, to receive the shout from his goalkeeper. Seem very nervous, the Magpies. Parker under pressure and giving giving the ball away again. Several occasions now that Parker has lost out. Nano in towards the back post. Not managed to clear it just yet. Sastra with the ball. Knee support, totally isolated. again <laughs> well, 
Lincoln looking for whiffs. See the instruction coming from the the sidelines. Lincoln wanting to stretch this Magpies team. Right, so it's a timely tackle. Ombretto will drifted across to that wide area. Certainly more to come from these two sides. Plenty in the tank. Be a long one from Winesman, as I said that. Ups to go short for Lopez. Across the face of goal. Confusion again. Finds his man, but intercepted really well by Carilla. Wiseman into the box, right across the face of goal. Well, it, it seemed to hit the chest. Well, Soler there, it bounced up right in front of the keeper. Did well, he kept his eyes on the ball. And luckily for Magpies, wasn't a Lincoln player running onto the end of that. Certainly been a nerving first 45 minutes by Magpies. They've not got into the stride at all. Ball retention has not been the bench. And then under pressure at the back as well. All kinds of confusion. Can they get back in this game before half time? Into added time, there won't be much at the end of the first 45. Referee Dennis Perry's just taken a glance at his watch. Lincoln probably would have been hoping to have two or maybe three on the board as they go in, but it's just that one goal. Liam Walker that separates the two sides at the moment. Walker going long, looking for the run. Good idea. It's a thumbs up. Bumpy on the ball. Yeah, yeah. Down that right hand side. Looking for the second before the break, right across the face of goal. And there goes the half-time whistle from Victoria Stadium. Been a good half for Lincoln Red Imps, but uh, at the moment, FC Bruno's Magpies not been able to get into any kind of rhythm. That goal from Liam Walker, about 20 yards out, striking the ball first time and then nestle it into the corner, off the goalkeeper's left-hand post. That separates the two sides at half-time. We'll be back in about 10 minutes' time to bring you second half coverage of this championship game from Victoria Stadium. But at half-time, it's FC Bruno's Magpies nil, Lincoln Red Imps 1. We'll see you soon.
Good afternoon and welcome back. Both teams just making their way out for the second half of this game. 1-0 at half-time. That goal on eight minutes from Liam Walker. That separates the two sides at the moment. I think we're going uh, to see the first change of the afternoon and it will be for Bruno's Magpies. And it does look like it's going to be the arrival of the new signing, Jack Storer. Brought into the club during the Christmas break, a former Birmingham City professional. Also spent some time as well at Partick Thistle up in, up in Scotland, so he's, he has got a pedigree. Possibly we made the change for looking at the change. It's like Gil, number five Gil, making way. Jack Storer is going to go straight into a forward position alongside Sastre. Sardis football is at Birmingham City as a under 15, he then moved on to Wolverhampton Wanderers. Had a spell there, played a lot of his football in the Midlands. In the semi-professional leagues and of course that spell he had up in Scotland with Partick Thistle as well. So good work by Nathan Runet. Got his contacts in the UK. Be interesting to see what the forward's all about. Lincoln attacking from left to right in this second half. If you're new to the Gibraltar Football League and you're tuned in around the globe, maybe in the UK or other parts, don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel. Gibraltar FA TV, every single game of the 2022-23 football season is live and free to view. And of course you can find us on the satellite networks as well. Don't forget to download the Gibraltar Football app, which is available on iOS and Android devices. Everything you need to know in the Gibraltar Football League can be found on the app. Wiseman. Getting it over to the far side. Nano, Interbreto. Trying to take his man on good pace. Down that left, played in. Martinez clears it only as far as Liam Walker. Just ran away from him. Excellent acceleration there from Ethan Barreto. Powering down that left hand side. There was quite a lot said in the Magpies changing room at half time. Levels of performance wouldn't have been up to Rooney's standards. Need to get the ball down and have a lot better ball retention if they're going to cause this Lincoln team any problems. Seattle push back looking for options further forward Martinez looking for the run Bent wants the ball Gallant over the top, gets a little flick on into Sastre. He's done well to keep the, keep the ball, but loses out. Walker stretching the play onto this near side. Wampi does not reading that ball as Walker. Looking to get the ball away.
to Coley. Launches one. Hitting it long, looking for Brett. Oh. Good defending there from Yano. Yeah, good use of the body. Lincoln just showing, oh, just showing a little bit too much of that ball. saying earlier football fix on on Sundays double building of football action Manchester 1962 against Mons Calpet is the second game of the afternoon early evening Trying to keep the ball in, but Parker again just not been able to get into this game and create any problems down that right hand side. Got the ball now to Bent into Coombs. Bent's got to release that, he's done well to find that little pocket of space. Oh, he almost. Stora almost hooking the ball over the top. And a little cheeky chip. Looking for the run of, uh, of Sastre. Gone long. Galan. Martinez. And have to release that ball, he's under pressure. Well, he's done well because he's, he's managed to get the cold kick. Wasn't the best of balls from Galan putting his teammate into a, a bit of trouble there. Kept the ball in, did Stora. Throwing a lot of, a lot of activity going on, and Terence Jolly and Nathan Rooney. Trying to work out how they can get their side back into this game. Just the one goal. Clear chance at the moment, that's a, a good knock with the outside of the boot. Magpies. Cassiaro with a sloppy pass. Build up again down the left. It's a little chip over the top, they've got one in the face, but he's done really well. Can he keep his composure? Took it around his man, slotted it, and that's a good finish. That is quality from Lincoln Red Imps. Absolutely brilliant there. And there's the man, Ethan Bretto. Fantastic play. And he played the ball back into Wanfred, who was able to slot it into that bottom corner, but all the work was done by Breto, and they're acknowledging the fact. Fantastic build-up down that left-hand side from Lincoln Red Imps. And Breto, he did take one in the face, but he stayed strong, stayed on his feet. He was able to keep composed. And then he played the ball square for Wanfred, who made it 2-0. Two goals this afternoon from 
Lincoln Red Imps have been clinical. Magpies have a real battle on their hands to try and get back into this game. Lincoln with that breathing space. Fantastic energy and running and purpose in that run of uh, Bretto down the left. And was able to stay composed to play it square. He could have taken it himself, but unselfishly chose to play it square for his teammate to make it 2-0. He's coming again. Little, it's a heavy pass there from Terrier. A lot to do for Magpies. Certainly a team who were capable of getting themselves back into this game, but at the moment there doesn't seem to be any real fluidity. To what they've been doing this afternoon. <laughs> Good trying to clear. Then yeah, yeah, no nonsense. To Coombs. It's a little bit rushed at the moment. to be a bit tighter. Stora trying to flick the ball over the top of Talia there. Wiseman continuing with the run, lots the ball back. Oh, he just eluded him. It was a good block in the end. Wampi was trying to feed that ball down the right into the feet of Scott Wiseman, who had continued his run. Tighter than that, able to turn and pick his pass. Good use of the body under pressure from De Lambert, staying strong. It's holding up, switching the play. Nanos continue the run, he wants the ball now. Can't give and go, and he has. Good play between the two. Can Nano pick a man across the face of goal? It's come short, and there's number three. And they've chucked it away, and it's Wampy with the finish. Another positive move down the left hand side, cutting through Magpies. Nano, a save from Sola. But could only parry the ball into the path of Wampy. And he makes it 3 0. Well, it's certainly a difficult afternoon for the Magpies now. It was a good piece of skill, good give and go between Nano and Breto down the left. And Nano driving the ball across the goal. And a double substitution for the Magpies. Diaz coming on. And Jones as well. The land making way. So a double substitution. For Nathan Rooney. the 
leader. Great deal of character if Brunos are going to get themselves back in this game this afternoon. Build up playing the finishing from Lincoln this afternoon has been ruthless. Magpies overlap. He's shown a bit too much of that ball. He's managed to look it into the area. Well, there's a mix up there, and they've got one back. And it was a mix up at the back with Dale Colin and Scott Wiseman. Well, they needed that, did the Magpies? Wiseman and Dale Colin getting tangled up. And Sastry with the finish. 3 1. Disappointing. Between Dale Colin and Scott Wiseman there. It's a comedy of errors. And there's another comedy of errors as well at the other end. Well, in a matter of 20 seconds, we've got confusion at both ends. But Magpie's able to get that goal back. Is there a glimmer of hope that they can get themselves? Because if they could get another goal, In the next 10 or 15 minutes, it would really cause some problems. Well, that's a nudge and that's a free kick. And this is a lot better from the Magpies. Seem to be getting a response from Rooney's side. Got to feel that this is. Cassiaro territory. Scored many a goal from this range with that left boot. Wants to be testing. Dale calling from this range. A little bit shaky this afternoon. Cassiaro, well, holds them, holds them really well. Still got the ball. Trying to work it out to this far side. Hooked into the middle, gets a good, a lucky bounce, but Lincoln able to clear. So bodies situated on the edge of the box and Wiseman on the wrong end of that one. Jamie Coombs coming deep to receive the ball, intercepted. Won't be driving on. Getting on his left, out to the far side as Lincoln push forward. Walker. Under pressure, pull back. No, no, I didn't think so. Referee. Some distance on this ball and put a bit more pressure inside the Lincoln half. Stab through the middle. Yeah, he's gonna get another chance.
top one in the lower regions there. Did yeah, yeah, but it's seems okay. Wasted one. Sixty-four minutes on the clock. FC Bruno's Magpies one, Lincoln Red Imps three. Live from Victoria Stadium. It's match day one in the championship group. Clear there with a good header. Mampi trying to wriggle away from Bent. Going into traffic and then a good, solid challenge. Nothing wrong with that challenge from Magpies. Right in front of the fourth official. Fun but fair. And to Walker. Takes that really well. And that's a good ball for Scott Wiseman, who's continued the run. Sits it up towards the back post. And Martin as well, who's, oh, he almost got his pocket pick there from, from Yaya. Good movement. Excellent initial skill from Ian Walker and Scott Wiseman. Continuing his run. Well, there's a pullback there. And that's certainly going to be a yellow card. I know they're driving, driving forward. Pull back just a five yards outside the, the penalty area. Well, Walker. I say only fancy his chances, but probably just drive this one or sit the ball up towards the back post. Teddy here coming in. Back post. Yeah, you're in there as well. Walker will take this. That's a good ball into the box and it's four. That's a good finish as well. Excellent delivery there from Liam Walker, zipping the ball into the box. Excellent pace on that. And Wanfrey getting his second of the afternoon and Lincoln's fourth. substitution peacock coming on I was expecting that kind of free kick from Liam Walker plenty of precision and zip on the ball the first man to react was one threat coming in and managing to uh, barge his way over the line to claim his second of the afternoon. from Sastre could have allowed them back into the game in a matter of minutes Lincoln have gone back up the other end get their fourth just over 20 minutes remaining Mm. 
Double substitution as well expected for Lincoln Red Imps. Soler. Former Lincoln Red Imps keeper. Really won't be uh, enjoying his afternoon. majority of what Magpies have tried to do this afternoon as it come off the experience of Lee Cassiaro making his entry Manfred making way and Wampi as well making way for Valerino Good afternoon at the office for those two. looking at the uh, results if you're new to the Gibraltar Football League and they'll be taken in the game for the first time if you're watching on the Gibraltar FA TV YouTube channel don't forget to subscribe every single game this season is live and free to view oh, good player there from Pelia Cassiaro trying to drive the ball across the face of goal. Winning the corner. I think it's a corner. That's <clears throat> more like it's the throw in as Wiseman. Going over to that far side. We're going to deliver that long throw that we know that he's capable of and looking for the flick on at the front post. Now, no. Oh, nice play. Trying to open it up. Wiseman. He is fouled. Well, could have played advantage there because it had fallen kindly for Liam Walker. Opting for the free kick. Looking at the fixtures this weekend, on, or looking at the results. Friday evening, Europa FC 2, Lynx FC 1. Fixture in the Championship group. And then looking at the games that took place yesterday. Glasses United 0, St. Joseph's 2. That was also a Championship game. And then Europa Point 0, Lions Gibraltar 5 in the Challenge group. From yesterday. Walker again. What kind of delivery? That's a good ball again. Played in towards the back post. But the danger's not gone. And they've still got the ball and they've done really well. Keep possession. Lopez looking for the looking for Wiseman. Got the ball back under pressure. Get the ball out of his feet. Lopez coming across. Leaving for Liam Walker and just... No doubt by... Carl Cassiaro. And another change. Ockren. Going to be coming on. Sastre. Making way for Ockren. 14 minutes remaining of the 90. Good use of the body. Goal kick given.
Walker looking for options. Considering going out to that left-hand side, but checked in the end. Lincoln will be in no rush to get this ball forward. And as I said, that commentator's curse giving the ball away. 4-1 up is really no need. Well, I'm, well, I'm not sure if there's a pullback there on Ben, but he's not calling for that. Just ran away from him. top oh nice piece of skill there to get away from his man plenty of room over here for Scott Wiseman who's pushed in a little bit but there's acres of space on this near side looking for Valerino say at the moment that it's a, a good solid team performance for Lincoln Red Imps but Magpies just haven't been able to get out of second gear to the free kick but never going to get that coming forward now Walker looking to release the ball oh that's a goal pass just drifting offside there was Lee Cassiaro it's an interesting one it'd be good to see that one again Almost a, like a reverse pass there from Liam Walker to unlock the door. Linesman on this near side. Just saying that. Lee Cassiaro had drifted off, just drifted into an offside position. And there's more activity going on. On the touchline, we're going to see another a double substitution for Lincoln. Game time and resting players as their side a 4 1 to the good. <laughs> Looking for options. Cassiaro pushed all the way back. in the middle it's an heavy touch Lopez well it's I know that he was looking for the free kick and it was a foul but Lincoln did have possession could have kept the ball rolling but a double substitution for them Blanco's coming on. It's always Jack Sargent. See, there's quite a lot. Yellow cards and sometimes reds for the management team. Good afternoon there for uh, are working his socks off through the, the centre of the park for Lincoln. composed on the ball and capable of 
getting the ball down and dictating the pace of the game. And he's done that this afternoon quite easily. Martinez back. So there's having to release that straight away. Sergeant back into the box. Coombs. Clean tackle. Blanco. Waiting for the, the runners come forward, but Nano deciding to just sit back. There's no rush or intention to, uh, to get forward now. to keep possession and see out the remaining 10 minutes of this game. Well, they've given the ball away cheaply. There's a pullback, staying on his feet, and he's slotted it between the legs to make it 5-1. And it's the veteran Lee Cassiaro with a finish. But mix up at the back, gifting the ball. He stayed on his feet as Cassiano. He could have gone down. And then, as cool as you like, he slotted it between the legs of Sola to make it 5 1. Well, he started to turn into a little bit of a rout for Lincoln Red Imps. Another substitution expected. Ronan. <laughs> Seen it a few times this afternoon where communication between the Magpies players has got them into all kinds of uh, problems. And it did there because they gifted the ball for Cassiaro, one player that you don't want to be giving the ball to in the final third. He stayed on his feet. Not just that. He was able to nutmeg the keeper to give his side a 5-1 lead. Can't remember the last time that Bruno's Magpies under Nathan Rooney have, have suffered a 5 1 defeat. Probably never since he uh, arrived on the rock. Straight swap there. Taria making way. For Ronan. World level on points going into this game down twenty five each. But it does look like the win for Lincoln and the goal difference will take them back to the top at the Gibraltar Football League, just above Europa FC. On goal difference alone. Don't forget as well, we've got more football action coming your way this evening. The excitement doesn't stop as it's Manchester 1962 versus Mons Kalpe in the challenge group. I think they might have 
won themselves a free kick there. With that little nudge on Valerino. Another opportunity for Liam Walker to wrap his left boot around this one. Could they get themselves a six? That tries look and for the keeper's near post. Well, that's where he's gone, and it's just gone over the crossbar. Well, it wasn't far away. You could see what he was trying to do. Closer to that near post. And it could have caused some real problems for Magpies. Playing with confidence. Open the scoring on eight minutes. This afternoon, it was a ball played inside, it was square ball, about 20 yards out. And Liam Walker decided to hit the ball first time. And it went in off the keeper's left-hand post to get the ball rolling. seen too much of the new signing Jack Storer because Magpie's not able to get the ball up to the former Birmingham City centre forward I'm sure we're going to see quite a lot of him over the coming weeks and months a good signing for Nathan Rooney a feeling that they could be a few more in the uh, transfer window Lopez going long clearance and in the throwing in the end last three minutes of this game Magpies is trying to put himself about working down the wings he's now operating through the middle and just not come off on another day a lot more of the ball and able to cause danger then lifting his arms up there free kick Trying to switch the plate. Looking for Valerino. He almost got that under control. He's got the ball back. Oh, he's ran out of uh, uh, pitch as he was queuing up the cross. Forward there by Wiseman, just happy to get the distance on the ball. Oh, trying to turn his man. Look there.
Can Magpies get a consolation goal? All the end as we drift into added time. Lincoln coming forward. He's falling through for Cassiaro, trying to get the better of his man and get his second. The ball is still there. Played inside. Will they get the shot off? And they've gone for the shot. It's a good block. A timely intervention there, but Lincoln still pressing forward, looking for number six. Ballerino. Nano. Patience now. Almost fell for Lee Cassiaro there. Possession football. Sean Ayr from Rooney and Terence John will be happy to hear the, the referee's whistle. Gives us time to reset and get the team ready for the next game. Stabbing the ball forward. Trying to intercept, but Nano able to collect. First time ball whipped into the box. Easy one there as Wines was sprinting back to get back into position. Good turn from Stora. Out to the far side. He's continued his run. Ochran. Coming forward, will he? Try and take his man on. He's done really well if he can get the ball back. Lopez coming across. Flush out that danger. Can't be long left now. Two minutes of added time. Credit for Magpies because they're continuing to try and make things happen. It's not been there, dear. Running, you can see Breto there absolutely hunting there, and there goes the final whistle from Victoria Stadium, where it's ended in victory for Lincoln Red Imps, an emphatic 5 1 win over FC Bruno's Magpies. And it started with that man Liam Walker, who's able to get his side up and running with a delightful finish on eight minutes. And then we had two goals from uh, uh, one threat, one from one bit, and the excellent finish as well from Lee Cassiero, putting the ball between the keeper's legs to make it 5-1. More football action coming your way at half past six local time uh, this evening from Victoria Stadium. And that's a game between Manchester 1962 and Mont Calpet. But from Victoria Stadium in match day one of the championship group, it has ended. FC Bruno's Magpies 1, Lincoln Redimps 5. We'll see you soon.